What's going on guys? Today is Thursday, September 5th, 2024, and we have 57 days before we launch the All Dreams platform to amateur athletes worldwide. Uh, it is 8.54 a.m. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. Ain't shit going on right now. Hello. Yo, bro. That's crazy. Um, that's wild. You know things are listening to you. <laughs> no, but uh, like I said, man, honestly, like it's really nothing going on right now. Uh, look, every day is not going to be a bunch of things going on. So the main thing I want to do is be consistent. Today, I really thought about not doing a video, like real talk. Like I'm thinking like, yo, what, yo, what would happen if I didn't do a video? But... It's like the accountability that I'm holding to myself, right? What I don't want to let myself down. So I'm here showing up even when I don't want to show up, honestly. Uh, it's a huge part of entrepreneurship because you don't have a boss that's like over you telling you you need to do this, you need to do that. Giving you the game plan, giving you the vision. Like as an entrepreneur, like you literally have to do it yourself every single day. You have to figure things out yourself. If you don't do it, nothing gets done. If you don't get customers, you don't make money. You don't make money, you don't have a business. And it's the it's it's that's the that's the hard part, you know. Like some kids, they want to be good in basketball. They want to be good in a sport, but they don't spend the time like by themselves. Like their parents has to say, have to say, "Hey, yo, don't you want to go to the court?" In the long run, that's never going to work. You have to have that self accountability where you hold yourself accountable because you not trying to prove anything to anybody else. You're trying to prove to yourself that. I'm not going to let myself down. And when you don't let yourself down, it gets easier to, to not let other people down. If you let yourself down, like, damn, it's easier to let other people down as well. I feel like, for me, you have to take, when I say I feel like, but then what I'm what I'm about to say is you have to take feelings out of the whole equation because you just have to do no matter what you feel like. Like, I don't feel like making a video. I don't feel like working on this pitch deck. I don't feel like talking to customers. Last night I was talking to a customer at 8 p.m. at night. Then I went to the court and talking to a potential customer. It must have been like 930 at night. And I don't know if I felt felt like talking to that customer and setting a, such a late meeting because I had the whole day I was doing work, right? But when it was days I didn't feel like going to practice, but again, it was a lifestyle. So... If you take feeling out of it and I just have to do it, you know, I have this responsibility. I have this this thing that I want to build. It becomes a, a bit different. You know, I, I look at myself right now as the head of my family, you know, like this, like I'm at a such a crucial point. This guy goes to Colombia 
you know, my nephew, let's just, you know, I use my, use my, my nephew as an example. You know, he's 12, 13. He doesn't understand, hey, my uncle somewhere in a different country. I don't even understand he's, if he, like, understands, hey, he's building a business. But when he's 20, you know, all dreams may be successful, you know, maybe it's exited. Maybe we did some, some great things in the world. And my whole family benefits from it. You know, my mother, my, my children, my, my, my sister's children, my sister, you know, they all benefit from the work that's be, being put in right now. And they look back and say, Damn, yeah, I remember I didn't know what my uncle was doing or, you know, or I, I didn't really couldn't understand what my father was doing. I couldn't really, you know, didn't understand it. But now I'm benefiting from it. Now I see. And so I can remember, like, my, my cousin, he was in the military. I was very young, and he used to go, you know, he was in the military, so he used to go to the military. I didn't understand it. I didn't understand it, but I, I but as I got older, I understand I understood when he came back, financially, he was set you know he had a nice house he had a nice car um he transitioned to a nice you know a nice job but i didn't understand like the whole concept of him leaving and going to 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 work basically and that's basically what i'm doing here right like i said i look at myself as the head of the family that's setting my family up right now with doing this what i'm doing being in a foreign <clears throat> being in a foreign country living below my means you know being alone and uh trying to maximize my potential that i have right now with what i have and that hopefully goes a long way in being the head of the family when they say this right here is what set the ground that paved the way and set the groundwork for the younger generation and the younger generation after that to be able to excel and do the things that they want to do in the world all right that's it for right now and uh, peace.